Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a quick video on Venus flytraps, everybody's favorite carnivorous plant. I just wanted to answer a few questions for you. Question number one is, what should I be feeding my Venus flytrap? And the answer to that is, you shouldn't be feeding it anything if it's outside, it should be able to catch its own food. But if you have to feed it, feed it something like flies. I find even ants, um, they're very toxic to them. They almost like melt the pitchers in a few days. They burn holes in them. And do not feed it chicken or fish or hamburger or anything like that. Let's just stick to flies for them if you feel the need to feed them. Every trap does not need to have a fly in it either. I know that seems like a good idea, but it um, really isn't necessary for their happiness at all. So let's take a closer look at these guys on how they actually work. Now if you look in there, you may or may not be able to see very easily on camera, especially with the shadows, there's actually hairs in there that to trigger the trap. Now if there was a false alarm and an insect touched it, it doesn't want to waste all its energy on a false alarm because it takes a lot of energy to close a trap. So what tends to happen is the insect walks in there and you can actually touch one hair and sometimes it still won't go off. But if you touch two hairs, then it triggers the trap. And that is how the Venus flytrap actually works. It's based on triggering those hairs. Now, we don't want to play around with these traps too much because it takes tons of energy to close a trap that fast. It's a plant. It doesn't have, have the, the mechanisms, doesn't have the muscles to actually close a trap. So when it moves that fast, it does take lots and lots of energy. So I never like to play around with my Venus flytraps. I'm doing this strictly for science. And again, to answer that age-old question, how much does it hurt to get bit by a Venus flytrap? But yeah, so I'm going to show it to you one more time. And let's just like scan for a nice plant that um, you might be able to see the hairs on. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see these hairs. It's red on red. This one has three hairs to it. But again, you can touch the trap and it doesn't trigger. I can touch one hair and it doesn't trigger. Oh, it triggered. But it's got a good and so that is how they work. It is based on the hairs being triggered. So now let's see what is going to happen when I stick my finger in one of these guys. That one looks nice and vicious, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to go with my pinky finger here. Hopefully we're ready for this. And in it goes. Oh, you pinched it. It's grabbing it and it does not hurt at all. We are going to try this a couple more times just to prove to you without a doubt that Venus flytraps do not hurt your finger. Ready? And... Oh, oh that one actually hurt! No, I'm just kidding. It still didn't hurt. Oh. Nope, still didn't hurt. So there we have it. We now know Venus flytraps do not hurt when they bite your finger. We also know don't do this at home because I'm only doing this for the name of science and to make you guys not do it at home. We know to only feed these guys flies now. Don't feed them chicken or fish or beef. Um, and we also know that you don't have to feed every single pitcher to keep them healthy. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.